Hello and welcome to Munson Made This. My name is Michael and it has been a long time since I have cooked a recipe for you here. I have been tracking this whole food plant-based weight loss journey that I'm on, that I'm still on. Um, and I've decided to just give you updates on that on Saturday, so stay tuned for that. But I thought that it was time to share a recipe for you uh, with you because it has been so long since I have done that. Now, what I'm gonna be cooking today is in the paradigm that I've been working with for creating meals for myself as I'm on this whole food plant-based diet. Um, but I was really craving something like a Southern fried skillet, like a breakfast skillet, something with sausagey gravy and like a hash. So in working with this paradigm that I've created myself for making meals for myself on this whole food plant-based diet, I decided to try to make it work here. So if you wanna just jump ahead to the recipe, just click this time right here and you will get right to me cooking. But if you wanna know the whys and exactly what I'm doing and the logic behind this meal, then stay tuned right here. Uh, so I've created this idea for myself called a grain, a bean, a veggie, a green, and a nut. That is unattractive. I'm trying to figure out a way to like condense it or make it cute or an acronym or something. But basically all of those things are boxes that I'm trying to check off when creating a meal. I'm focusing on fiber, protein, and fat, making sure I had a good amount of those in each of the meals that I cook. So I've set up this list of things. I need some sort of whole grain, something that's fiber rich, something that's nice and protein rich, like beans, which also have a good amount of fiber, vegetables, which are gonna add bulk and flavor and also nutritional value, a green, which is gonna add, well, you should be eating greens every day, right? It's gonna add some nutritional value to the dish because everything else is kind of, has a tendency to go in the brown direction. So adding green just pops up the color and well, I don't think I need to defend greens anymore. Anyway, uh, and then the last one, nut, it can be a seed, an avocado, just something that is a whole food form of plant fat. So I'm trying to get, like I said, fiber, protein, and fat in every meal. So checking all these boxes is gonna help me get there. That's my idea, it's been working so far. So this dish today that I'm making is this hash with gravy. So for my grain, I'm not actually using a grain today, I'm gonna to be using sweet potato, but it's gonna become the like fiber rich carby portion of the dish. Um, I'm going to also add beans to that, so that'll be my bean. I'm also adding tofu onto the top, so that's gonna be like an egg, but it also function as like the protein bean component. The Vegetables, obviously I have the sweet potato, but I'm gonna also add broccoli that are gonna do the vegetable job and the green job. And then finally for the nut, my whole food plant fat, I'm going to be making a delicious sausagey gravy that is cashew based. So I'm checking all of my boxes, I'm getting the fiber, I'm getting the protein, I'm getting the fat. I haven't tried this yet, I think it's gonna be delicious. So let me start batch cooking everything. I'm gonna cut up the sweet potato into little cubes, get them baking. I'm gonna cut up the tofu into little slabs, get them grilling. I'm going to blend up the cashews and water to make my gravy. And we'll have a bunch of components that are prepped that I'll be able to use for not only this meal, but I can make another version of this meal, or I can also use the sweet potato or the tofu or the gravy in some other dish. So enough said, let's get to prepping. First thing I wanna do is take care of the sweet potato. This is pre-washed and in order to keep the fiber, nice and high in this dish. I'm not going to skin it, peel it. And I want about like half inch cubes. Sweet potatoes are always so difficult to cut. I'm actually cooking these in my Breville Smart Oven. So I'm using the air fry basket thing to bake these. The oven is set to 375 on convection. But obviously if you just had a baking sheet, use that. If you had an air fryer, go for it. I just decided not to use the air fry function today because last time I tried to air fry sweet potatoes, I felt that they got like, I don't know, they didn't, the color I didn't love on the outside so I'm gonna see if baking them keeps them a better color. Not adding any oil, not adding any seasoning. Uh, for one, I'm not adding any oil so I can use extra gravy. And also I'm not adding any seasoning because I don't wanna commit this to any particular seasoning style so that I can season it with whatever I decide to make with them. I'm going to be saving this for myself. I'll just use this to, why do I keep wanting to say skin? to uh, peel that and then it's really nice. That's, this is how I make my broccoli sticks. And then I'm just gonna break up the broccoli. I've already rinsed this. Break this up into little florets and I'm gonna start adding these. 
Um, I'll add these to the uh, sweet potatoes in a few minutes. I could always take them out. I'll keep them separate. Uh, I could always take them out if I'm afraid they're gonna overcook. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna add them in right now. I just put the broccoli off to one side so that if they're done, I can take them out. Let's talk about tofu. I'm gonna open up the package and then go over to the sink and drain out the liquid. And then I'm going to cut this into little slabs. Actually, I'm gonna take this to the sink now. I'll cut this into little slabs and then it's gonna go sandwiched between this towel here so that it can dry out a little bit before we grill it. There's a ton of moisture in this, but that's what the towel is for. And I like to slice it in half, slice those halves in half, and then slice those quarters into thirds the best that I can. And this just gets me to the thickness that I prefer for this type of task. Uh, this is how I've been doing my tofu, prepping my tofu for quite a while now. You can use it for sandwiches, you can cut it up even smaller and add it to stir fries, add a sauce, put it over rice. Just really a versatile way to cut up tofu. This is just going to hang out for, I don't know, maybe five, 10 minutes, depending on how long it takes me to assemble the sauce. And it's just gonna absorb some of the extra liquid and it'll make browning the tofu a lot easier. Now, before I show you how the, I'm gonna make this gravy, I just need to tell you that the idea of this came from a sauce that I have on my channel, which is the ultimate cream sauce, I think it is. And it's just a basic cashew cream sauce that you can season up anyway, use on pasta. And I don't know where, I, I, I was making something and ended up, I don't know exactly what happened, but somehow I ended up with uh, cashews blended with water. And then when I cooked it up, it thickened up. And I was like, wow, this is actually a really nice gravy texture or consistency. And so I added some sausage, sausage seasoning. So I do have a biscuit and gravy, a couple biscuit and gravy recipes on my channel, but the better one is the most recent one. I'll have it linked below. But in that recipe, it calls to make a sausage seasoning. Um, it'll make anything you put it on taste like sausage. So I'm, I just added some of that sausage seasoning to this creamy sauce and it was incredible. And actually the last couple times that I made biscuits and gravy using like refrigerator biscuits, have, I've used this gravy because I prefer it to a like flour thickened gravy. So it's pretty simple. It's just a half cup of cashews, two cups of water blended together. I add some no chicken better than bouillon, maybe a couple little dashes of Bragg's liquid aminos or low sodium soy sauce. And then the sausage seasoning, it thickens up as you cook it and it is just like the best gravy. And I'm really excited for this because um, I haven't been eating like white flours or refined flour. And so this is nice that I get that really thick gravy texture, but um, it's also just like eating cashews. So I think that's super cool. Uh, let's head over to the blender and I'll show you how I put that together. I always just use my Nutribullet for everything. This is a half, cu half cup of raw cashew pieces. I find it's less expensive to buy the pieces. It's going into two cups of water, putting the lid on, and I'm, I'll just season it up as I told you with the no chicken better than bouillon and the Bragg's liquid aminos and the sausage seasoning. I'll uh, add that seasoning to it once I put it in the pot. This cashew mixture is gonna be actually really thin when you uh, it gets done blending. You just wanna make sure that there aren't any pieces or little bits of cashew. So you basically just made like a cashew milk, but once it hits the heat, uh, you wanna to continue to stir. Once it kind of comes up to a simmer though, it starts to thicken and it gets to be like the perfect gravy texture. I have my cashew on medium to medium low heat and I'll be stirring that pretty continuously. And here I have a cast iron griddle pan and I just have the tofu on there. Once it gets brown on one side, I'll flip it over, get the other side brown. In here are the sweet potatoes and the broccoli. The broccoli is about ready to come out. Sweet potatoes still need a few more minutes. I'm pausing for a second from stirring my gravy. This uh, is my sausage seasoning here. It's 
there's a ton of ingredients in here. Well, there's not a ton, but uh, there's a lot in here. Again, the recipe link will be down below. And actually the whole recipe for everything today, I'll have a whole recipe post about this. So I'll put the uh, ingredients of this sausage seasoning as well. So I added a couple dashes of Bragg's liquid aminos. Uh, I'm adding just about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of no chicken flavored better than bouillon. Keep stirring. The tofu is just about done. We just need to let the sweet potatoes finish up. And then we're pretty close to assembly time. Real talk moment. I couldn't remember if I used a full cup or a half cup of cashews. So the recipe as it'll be online will be adjusted. It's a bit thin. I'm gonna let this keep going until it reduces, but I think about one and a half cups of water to a half cup of cashews or a cup of cashews to two cups of water is gonna be it. This will get there. It may be a bit thin. It'll still be delicious. But uh, yeah, that was one of the things I was worried about, whether or not I had the right ratio of cashews to water. And I didn't, but it tastes great. Just needs to thicken a bit. Here is the final set of ingredients. I have the sweet potato, broccoli, the tofu. I put gravy in this gravy boat because I bought that at a thrift store quite a while ago and just haven't used it yet. I have my black beans and onions, which ideally I probably should have heated up or cooked together, but I'll just be adding them in room temperature. And it's all gonna go on this really cool dish that I also got at a thrift store, which is perfect for hash style breakfast. Looks like I'm gonna be using all of the sweet potatoes. Well, add the broccoli too. It's supposed to be a hash after all. Sprinkle on a bit of black bean. Some onion. Put a few slices of tofu on top. And it's time for gravy. I wanna make sure it looks good. So this boat only had about half of the gravy in it and I'm using about half of the boat. So I had a half cup of cashews, so I'm not sure what the math, but it's really not that many cashews in the end. Just need some black pepper. And look at that beautiful, <laughs> forgot what I was gonna call it. Uh, beautiful sweet potato, broccoli, black bean hash with tofu egg. I have a <laughs> suspicion this is gonna be fairly difficult to eat. Just kind of holding it up. Not sure if I'll actually be able to get any of the tofu. Uh, there we go, got a little piece off. Trying to get a bit of everything, some of the black beans, some of the sweet potato, some of the broccoli, gravy. You know what? It definitely does. It definitely does a thing. And like, I love dishes like this where you just look at it and you're like, oh, sweet potato, tofu, cashew, black bean, broccoli, done, that's it. A Little bit of seasoning and spices, uh, added a bit more black pepper on top, which I just love black pepper. This is so good. Pups are at my feet trying to get bits of sweet potato. And uh, this is going to be a great dish that just holds me over for quite a while. Mm. I'm so happy. So if you want to know more about what, what I'm doing, why I'm doing this, definitely go to the playlist. I'll link it again. Um, it'll also be at the very end um, to understand what my whole, I guess I explained it at the beginning, but my whole philosophy is with this whole food plant-based diet, what I'm trying to accomplish here and why uh, meals like this are what I'm trying to eat. So I'm going to turn the camera off, finish enjoying this. Actually, I'm gonna film a months and eight this video because I haven't done that in a while. I apologize to all of you channel um, members who are missing those videos. So I'll be filming this for you. 
Thank you all for watching. I can't even keep my eyes off of it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.